Hi right, guys, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, and one of the interesting things about this ledge zone is that the arrow from the waypoint will always point you in the direction you need to go. And you mean these uh, the, this arrow made of stones? Yep. Uh, it'll tell you where the exit is, so if you ever come back for a long session, you're like, damn man, I made it to ledge that one time. But I can't continue the game because there's two directions to go in. Well, that's how you can know. I, I don't know whether you're being sarcastic or not. This is scaring me. I mean, it was it was, it was actually something important, you know. I mean, we got our first amulet, a bit of life regen. Never hurt anybody. I mean, because it regens your life, so it does the exact opposite of hurting you. Okay, Mike, just stop. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. We got our first major life node, so 221 life. Ooh. Oh, Pat must be jealous, even though he has two coral rings, probably more life than us. Because <laughs> all he's getting is life nodes. Uh, oh yeah, you're fucking Siam. Yeah, boy. There, there, there is a, a cluster of nodes in, in, the, in the passage tree that is literally, literally called... Literally called the Scion Life Wheel. Yes, because it is the Life Wheel that she gets a huge amount of life. It's uh, right I mean, here. anybody can get it, but I start literally right inside of it. It's amazing. Yeah, so he gets some early life, but I mean, we're manly, so we don't care. I think I'm more manly than you because my red bar is bigger. Bigger than yours, boy. You, you boys being good. being good. You boys being good today. Yeah. So uh, another... see, now, now that's an inner city meme right there. There you go, we got another contempt one. I've already used my other one, so I don't really care. Pat usually holds on to the currency, he's like the fucking banker. And I've done very good as the banker, Mkai. I don't want to hear you complain. I, I, I don't really handle that stuff. I mean, me, me and Pat kind of played a way where we kind of always play this game together. And, like, we don't really care who has the who has the currency. I mean, if you play this game in a public party, they'll probably have some sort of allocation where uh, the items I are I like the term out. friendly communism. Yeah. Basically, we just don't care. So we just kind of share the currency amongst each other. And then, uh, that was a leg spike. You know, usually I'll just hit him up and I'll go like, Hey Pat, you know, I fucking need 12 casts for my, my, my chevrons wrappings. And he'll be like, sure. Uh, that sounds exactly like how much you need too. It's the best pricing. Exactly. Especially now. Especially now. In, in, in jokes with Pazmix. Pretty much. I need, I need 12 bronze bars to finish my uh, bronze chest piece. So I can get to level 12 smithing. These are fucking zombies. They all died. Yeah, okay, why don't you fucking res them again? There ain't no corpses around here to revive the zombies from. See, the zombies need corpses. See, I don't even want you to tell me what kind of build you're going, because I can't fucking tell. <laughs> and, and that's part of the fun. Is it'll slowly evolve into something. Like, I'm sure you're just yeah, gonna, my... uh, like, at some point use, like, abilities just to fuck with me. Probably. <laughs> it's like you know me. Oh, by the way, I should mention... Oh, yeah, the, the, sk the skills are not tied to Pat at all. Like, I can I can just put zombies on. I can have my own fucking zombie army right now. I can, Holy just, shit. Just find it on the ground, fucking have some zombies come with me. Fuck it. They're your adoring fans. <laughs> of course they're. All right, I'm going to take one of these. See, see now that's very lore-fitting, actually. Come on, man. Oh. Can't get rid of your adoring fans. So you could be like a fucking, like, like fucking zombie fucking duelist summoner. Oh, and here we have our, another chromatic. That Pat totally skipped over, or was allowing me to pick up, but he's probably going to say I was allowing you to pick it up. That's probably what he's going to say, but he probably missed it. Ah, you're a, you're a Rudy Poo. <laughs> Jesus. Exactly. You, you deserve nothing less. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably about right. Like, there's a thing on my map saying that there's a book in some direction. A book in some direction? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, right here. Are you talking about the my lore pieces? My map's screaming, yeah, the lore books. I mean, I wasn't really going to look at them. They're not really required. Oh, okay. I mean, I can, but... I, I said I was just going to do required dialogue where, like, the characters... I, I, I didn't know the map was, like, so hardcore on getting me to look at them, though. Like, it, it, it's had, like, these arrows pointing towards it forever. I mean, I, I haven't seen any arrows. Is like lion I stand do you have a, do you have the map on? There is no honor without sacrifice. I do have the map on. Oh yeah, you're right. Holy shit, it is. Yeah. 
It's like it, it really wants you to go to the lore. Not that I mind that. I like lore in video games. I just notice it till here. So actually, this is actually it was a good thing I put that that zombie gem on because look at this. I already can't uh, level anymore because it needs 16 int. And seeing as I'm a duelist, which is like the furthest part away from the the int part of the tree, eh, kind of hard to do. I mean, there's some things I could do. Like this gives some int. Uh, this gives some int, but. As you can see, you can kind of get into the technicalities of why, like, the kind of the build diversity. Why, why it's probably better to, if you're going to be a summoner, maybe you want to be a witch. So we're going to just drop that uh, raised zombie gem on the ground because we don't really need that anymore. Uh, we also got a new chest piece here. That's uh, really not that much better than this one. You want a chest piece, Pat? Of course. Yeah. You there you go. Oh man. Mike Senpai has given Pat a chest piece. He's free. Uh, I can now get a live life flask. I'm not being jumped on by a bunch of fun. <laughs> I'll have you know I have 46% damage reduction and 34% chance to evade attack. Ah, uh, here you go, Mike. Oh, that's good. How long were you holding that out on me? You just got it. Why would I hold it out on you? I don't even do physical damages. Yeah, these guys hurt, man. Yeah, they kind of do, because they're just leaping on your face while you're looking at items. I mean, no, it's fucking these guys. Alright, let's go put this uh, this ring on. We'll just drop the other iron ring we had. So we have one one life ring and one really good uh, iron ring for early on. It's actually, we're going to we're gonna be hard-pressed to replace that one for quite a while. Dude, people are trapped. Oh, oh no! Oh shit. Where'd this guy come from? Yeah, we, we totally fixed that. The guy that's slightly easier to beat than his ads. Yeah, pretty much. And here's the... Uh, Dude! What? They trapped the monkey in, like, these claw things. The mo what monkey? There was a monkey! Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was, yeah. yeah she has a monkey bitch on her shoulder. Monkey, I forgot. Yeah, bitch have, well, she always had a monkey, but whatever. Alright, let's talk Okay. Thank you for freeing me. The mother of death likes to play these little tricks on me. To remind me of my place. But she also sent you here to help. Let me return the favor, Exile. We will meet again in town, and then I will help you illuminate your path. So we just rescued Deckard Kane, and she's gonna identify all our items for free. Thank you. No, I'm just oh. joking, she's not gonna do that. No, that would defeat the purpose of identify scrolls. Um, now she's, did Diablo do have identify scrolls or like yes they did identify yeah but you could bring it back to Decker Kane for her. by the way this is where all the wheel skeletons come from no no she just she does prophecies and stuff which is the mechanic of the game uh, there's a it's currency item like we'll find later on called super coins which we can shove up in her and then she'll make things happen yeah um, like usually all these things were like a mechanic of the game at some point uh, but then a like yeah, they were a league. And then they made it a core part of the game. That's what you saw with Essence. Probably this one that you see here that we're doing Harbinger, the one that's kind of... I mean, to us it's new. To you, it might everything might be new. But Harbinger is new, but at the end of this, they're probably going to incorporate it into the game somehow. Maybe just like randomly, just give you Harbingers everywhere. Who knows? Oh, and here we have our... Uh, uh, well, we have, a, uh, we have a little trial of Ascendancy. His name is right there. In the court of the goddess, every man and woman is deemed worthy of redemption. Though you might be shackled by the tribulations of the past, the trials ahead offer you both freedom and glory. The future is yours if you're bold enough to reach out for it. Okay, it literally tells you nothing, but we're supposed to solve the trials of ascendancy. So we have a new quest here saying, complete all the trials to access it. They're just in random areas. When you stumble across them, you might as well do them. So they're just like little trap things. Someone really likes fucking traps over at Spike traps. Don't you like traps, Pop? They're not gay. The only traps I like are the ones that do programming. <laughs> 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 uh, I knew you'd get a kick out of that. By the way, these spikes don't kill you. They just like... they just. Do oh, they can kill you. you. Don't fucking lie to them. Those things can totally kill okay, you. If you're not bad at video games. I mean, it's like... It's just... It's just typical fucking... Like, can you solve the fu like? Pat can't fucking do it. Look, it's just uh, they alternate. That's all you have to do is just step on the fucking one that isn't going up. Apparently, that's a really hard like, thing for Pat. I don't understand anything. And you're the one who yells at like boss fights, like for people not understanding boss fights. I could use another. Oh, yeah, but you know, bosses bosses apparently can't kill you because dude, longsword. 
Oh, sweet. Hey, you want to give me one of your uh, your your smaller life flasks? And I'll give you a oh, life flask. A smaller life flask. Give me a small one. Okay. Fuck. I, I don't have... Well, actually, I do have. Never mind. Ignore everything I said. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Fuck. Apparently, we don't have enough strength for this uh, thing. <laughs> Good shit. Because my sword is actually giving me strength, so by de-equipping it, I can't use it. Don't worry. Next level will be fine, so just keep that on us. Yeah, give me your small one. Because I have three small life flasks now. I was going to show what you can do with that. Alright. Belief is the strongest metal of them all. So you can see, prison is the first one, and there's a bunch of unknown areas. But don't worry about this too much. Just if you see them, do them. You can come back from later. As you saw, there's a very nice waypoint system. I like how the mysterious man who we have been in no way introduced to so far, but who the chat is literally calling the chat? Zaro. The chat? Yeah, look, look, it even says when it when it does his little like oh. telling us what he's I, saying. I think like like I'm like I'm not streaming this or anything. There's no, you're no not chat. streaming it. <laughs> no, but it literally when it does like the quote unquote subtitles, it's calling Mazaro. We have no idea what his name is. How do we know that? I mean that's my fuck my ma malore, Mike. I don't I, I don't get it. You want to the total. Get away from the Toto, dude. Come on. Make oh, I'm going to put him elsewhere there. Fine. Oh, I apparently am not using double strike. Another <laughs> mall. I actually like Cleave. Cleave is nice. This is, Cleave is nice. fucking way better than... But we're it's not going to use it. It's not our endgame one, by the way, guys. Although it totally can be, if you choose. Oh, fuck Ataku again. You are so flippity floppity, you Donna Mr. Talamoana. Warrior. Alright, we're not listening to him again. We're just gonna do whatever the fuck he wants. You I don't are wanna... a sight boy. Dude, if I, if I talk to him, like, every single time he wants to fucking redo a quest, it's gonna take a Like, if it's a new character, sure, we'll listen to them, but fucking not this guy. All he's gonna go is, like, go down to my fucking BDSM dungeon and. Release the Gimp! Release the Gimp. Ah, oh, Velvet Slippers. I don't want that fucking trash. It's all yours. Ooh. Those are some spicy looking slippers, actually. Alright, we're trying to find on the map where it has like an exclamation mark. Maybe we can kill stuff along the way. If you if you're boring about like having fun. Wow. Actually that, that is a that is a really nice rare mob here. We can kill it. Cool. Cause now I get an even better life flask. And this point here gives me 20 strength and some life regen and stuff. Which means I can now put that sword on. Where's the cleave? Cleave can go onto that. There you go. I now have that thing where every third attack is a... Uh, ruthless. Yeah, it's ruthless. But like, do I, do I have to like hold it down or can I like... Can I like... I don't know. Rev it up or something? Like, what, what's it called? When you like, kind of use it until you get the third one. Your. Uh... Oh yeah. I don't, I don't think it works that way. I think I have to hold it down. Oh, I can see where it's spiking your damage, though. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not on double strike though. It's on cleave. Yeah, but when you were using cleave, I could I, I saw it like pop every so often. You can right. just wait here. I'm running. We're gonna wait here. I don't want to be in Hackery's fucking sex dungeon. Get me out of here. Tell him a water, motherfucker. There's no skipping. Tell him a water. Yeah, we can't make portals here, by the way. Oh, wait, you can make portals here. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could have. Oh, oh, here's Mike showing off his game knowledge once again. I can't say anything because I didn't think you could either. <laughs> With every warrior we uh, I don't want to fucking talk to this guy. He's not important. Who's, who's Daenerys, Mike? I don't fucking know. Who is Daenerys? I don't know, but apparently they killed somebody called Saria. Go figure. Oh, it's telling us things that happen in the game that people are doing. This is, a, after all, an online game. You can't play. You can play a single player, but you have to have an internet connection. Because I mean, which is, which is actually caused a lot of butt hurt in the community, to be honest. I mean, it, it's a free to play game. Like they make the game, it's free to play. Don't fucking bitch. That's usually how it goes. I mean, I don't entirely agree with that statement, but you're not wrong. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can. Here, give me a second. I'm gonna see if I can, like, kind of like, like, like charge it up, basically. Yeah. 
So we go back, go back. Oh yeah, yeah, you can. Does it have like a thing on the toolbar that's showing you you're charging up, or is you just got a guess? I think it's a guess. I think if I switch skills though, it, it, it gets rid of it. Well, yeah, because it's based off the skill you got it hooked to. Okay. I mean, don't I get me literally wrong. I do not know how this works with Ruthless. I think. Mike, it literally says it on the skill gym. Every third attack has a, has oh, a more damage multiplier. I think it's every third attack on one enemy. That'd be. No. No, no. Yeah, because. That none can't of be how it works. Yeah, that's exactly... I, no, you stunned two enemies that time. Oh, you, you know what it is? I think it's because I was hitting... Um, I was hitting, you, you I was hitting the big monster. No, I was hitting the big monster. I, on his third hit, my entire thing became... Uh, Dude, these skeletons are just lining up. This is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, this is Act 1, Pat. It's a free game. I know. No <laughs> you know... But, uh. <laughs> Guffaw, Mike. Yeah, it's it's every third hit on one enemy, and then like. No, no, no! You did. You hit all the enemies, Mike. I don't fucking know that. Because what what it also does is, if you read it, it also applies a, a strong stun uh, or strong. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, and you stun that whole group there. All right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna stop talking about this because it's probably confusing the shit out of everyone, including myself. Because this is See, look, it's actually you, you stun like four enemies. So. It's a new mechanic, so I don't even know. I like how fucking I, I, I hover over him and he has like the Cthulhu text. By the way, yeah, he, he does, doesn't he? Standing inside the fucking orb when he's like coming back to life or whatever, so when he's bringing things in, it does nothing. Yeah, because it's just summoning things. Finding shards. Using Thunderstrike? I don't know. Weird. I'm just gonna pick up all the brown items because that's how we work. Alright. Do you like brown items in your video game? I like to collect brown items in Path of Exile. No? No. No, Mike? I don't know Nothing? Okay. I, Fine, whatever. It just occurred to me we haven't I been tried. back in town for a while. Alright, so we just got Master Arena. I'm gonna start heading for Destroyer, which is uh, a nice 200 node. That might be a good pair of gloves for you, bro. Yeah, maybe they might be. Some dexterity, some life given and heal, and some, hit and some other stuff. Yeah, we'll take that because we have fucking trash on right now. It's all about not having dog trash. shit. Yeah, anything that's evasion or uh, armor is good for me because I'm a character that kind of you can utilize both. Kind of nice. I recognize that pretty face. Grand Arena, Theopolis. I have a future in mind that I think would suit you, duelist. Hello, welcome to one of the main antagonists of the game, Piety. Piety? Now we haven't really talked about the whole why we're here, so we got exiled for some reason. And for every character it's a different story. Uh, in my story I think it was, uh, I kept fucking challenging people to duels or something for the duelist. No, 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 the duelist was like fucking some guy's wife and then the guy insulted you, so you know what, you did the honorable thing and you, you know, just stabbed him in the gut. Oh. Superior travel yeah. shot. Uh, you can pick that up. Yeah. Superior gems are nice to pick up. Because you can be used I mean, s some of the people that got exiled didn't get exiled because they were bad people. They just got exiled because they did dumb things. But then you have people like the witch, one of the other castles you can play. She got exiled for a very good reason. She was eating babies. I mean, that's a pretty no, goddamn no, good you. reason to try to get rid Without of somebody. Give Our Lady Piety your absolute support and watch her with absolute scrutiny. There is much to learn from the likes of the Inquisitor, the Umbra, and the Soulless One. I would hate for Piety to feel that she needs shoulder such perilous wisdom alone. Dominus. Oh, order of protection. I, I, I don't usually collect the environmental lore like that, but you can. Hmm. Alright. Oh no, it's oh, Brutus, sure. Lord and Incarcerator. Or, is that what that was? Oh fuck, I don't care. Yeah, you act, you know what, Mike? You actually got it right. That's impressive because that's a really like that's a word with a lot of nuance. Thanks, Pat. Your approval means so much to me. So I'm, no so I'm just gonna stand in front of him and fucking hit him. I'm not even gonna try dodging anything. Like that. Oh boy. Oh, I thought that was Stupid the gloves that I was gonna like. Ah! We got a unique pair of gloves. That's kind of nice. Um, let's go check that out. Okay, I, I don't want that. I want maybe the travel mall. 
And because that's a two-handed weapon. And Pat, you can pick up that permanent staff. Alright, so this gives you 30% more attacks, uh, increased attack speed on full life, add some lightning damage, add some accuracy, and increase movement speed while on low life. I mean, they're not great for me because there's very little cases where I'll be on full life because I'll be taking damage. And I don't really want to be on low life, so I mean, overall, they're not very good gloves for me, I'd say. Uh, but you know, they're, they're, they're here. They're gloves. They've got a purpose. So we'll, we'll actually, we'll just head out the, the dungeon. Actually, we can kind of see the... Actually, you can kind of see that this is where he came out from. Look at that shit. Yeah? Yeah, he kind of fucking... Oh, yeah, you can see, like, the little, like, wood man imprint he's got there. Yeah. Well, ain't that some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like how, yeah, you do, it does show you this every time. Letter of instruction again. Oh, fuck it, we'll click it. Dear Chevron, you have certainly had your work cut out for you with Lion Eyes Legion. Do not concern yourself with Marseilles' complaints. Our Emperor is fully aware of the General's fickle nature. As to your need to accelerate the implantation process, I can recommend a quite simple alteration. Dip the gem in a boiling solution of six parts blood and one part thormetic sulfite for no more than 13 seconds. Any longer, and you invite the crystal's wrath. Once the gem is withdrawn from the solution, you have but a few seconds to install the gem in the prepared flash and close the wound. Should the gem cool too much prior to implantation, it will become inert and you're patient with it. Trust in that bountiful talent of yours, Sharon. My thoughts are with you. Malachi. Oh, there's some characters here that we don't know of yet. But you can already tell they're doing some fucked up shit. Yep, they're fucking with gems. And boiling solutions of six parts blood and one part thematic sulfate. Alright, well, all the fucking characters are really happy to see us, so let's go talk to them. The Warden's free of his own prison. Well, since you're so bloody determined to cheat the britches off death, you'd better have one of these. For luck. And when they write the song about you, just be sure to mention that it was Tarkley who taught you everything you know. All right, I got Blink Arrow, Leap Slam, Whirling Blades, and Rallying Cry. All of these are pretty good, um, but we're going to take Leap Slam, which is a movement ability. Uh, it's going to be very useful for us Stay to sharp out there. evade obstacles. And I uh, guess we'll keep talking to people. Is it choice that carries you here, or is it fate? I see a need in you. A need to peer into your future. I need to follow the right path. But your future has already been cast. So open your mind and embrace it. Long ago, my people called me a Hatungo, a wise woman. Now they call me a Revenant. But it is not my fate to return to the Mother of Death just yet. For now, I stand with one foot in this world and the other foot in the realm of the dead. I'm an inquirer of the living, and an interpreter of death. I sense you have questions. For a gift of silver, I will answer them. But you seek more than answers. Riches. Power. These I can also provide, in a way. All you have to do is join me. Heed my words, but walk your path. The future is mine to tell, but yours to claim. It is time to fulfill your prophecy. For some, death is welcomed with open arms. Did you end Brutus's suffering out of avarice or mercy? Only you know the answer to that one. Oh boy, more fucking support gems. Added fire. Get some more physical damage with extra fire damage. Melee splash. If, uh, it makes single target abilities do splash damage. Uh, lesser multiple projectiles. It splits off an ability that has projectiles into two more projectiles. It's kind of neat. And name support. More physical damage. 30% chance to maim on hit. And enemies maimed by support skills take 10% increased physical damage. Huh. 
That's a hard one. Added fire is good and so is uh, maim. I don't know which one to do. What do you think, Pat? Should I try out maim? I'm actually probably going to go with maim. All right, maim it is. God hasn't abandoned us. So we're going to take Ancestral Protector off of these links and then we're going to add maim to this. So now we have fucking cleave supported by fucking a bunch of shit. Let me just say that. What little help I can offer is you. Let me well, see if that's a bunch to you. Let me just see if there's anything new that we may want to try out here. Uh, I don't think there's anything that really uses swords. I think if I type in sword, it'll tell me what it uses swords. It will. Yeah. Puncture, cleave, infernal blow, really? Yep, yeah, infernal blow, it works with pretty much everything. Yeah, all that is okay. trash, so. Actually. Oh, what about Little Slam? I already have that. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Is there an enduring cry yet? No. Yeah, we don't get that yet. I mean, we could get our first war cry. Uh, we're gonna take Relan Cry as well, because that was actually something that we did get from him. Uh, that It was an option, but we can actually buy from the vendor here, so this is gonna be our first War Cry. Both that last 8 seconds, we get 140% increased damage per 100 enemies. That's just like a scaling thing, so if it's like 10 enemies and it's a tenth of that. And we get some mana regen and some increased damage. So that's yeah, like wow. a night, you can only have like one War Cry, and that's gonna be just the one we carry around for now. Um, this small isn't so bad. I'll just keep it on the sidelines here in case I want it. Yes. I don't really want these gloves, but I'll just put them in stash just in case. Little help I can offer. So we got two chromatics here. Now that you saw me, I, I asked uh, Pat for one of these flasks just because I wanted to show you something. So if you have three of the same flask, they sell for a higher quality flask. So the medium one here, for example. Be well. So that's just something. It's a, like a little recipe that is kind of neat, but we don't we don't actually want any of that crap. So. I'm gonna put my quality flask inside there. Yes. Sell the rest of these items. Chaos shard, huh? Oh. Wait, did you get a chaos shard from selling things, or is it just something you found? Oh, wow. I think it's something I found. I'm actually not sure now. Now, there's something interesting you do. You you have a second slot here. I'm pressing X to go here, so you can put another weapon there if you want. But let's say let's say there's something like you don't have enough slots like slots. Let's say I, I want leap slam, but I don't have enough slots, so I want to remove something. Like let's say I don't want ancestral protector, uh, but I don't want to stop it from leveling either. You can put that on your other. Uh, you can put that on your other one, and it still counts as you having it equipped. So it's actually kind of neat to put on your other slot on your other kind of sockets. Um, some so things that you want leveled up. So kind of one of those neat things. We're not talking to Haku. Greetings. Who fucks that guy. Greetings. So, by the way, one of the other things you could do is you can look at vendors, and you saw how I was getting chromatic items with the links. There's actually none in here right now, Stay sharp, but they might be selling them. Um, and it, it's always worth it to sell it back to them. And I wish I could show you, but I can't because you they're bet. actually not selling any. But it's something that's kind of neat that you can do. Uh, all right. Well, let's leave it off here today. So, take care, guys. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.